Welcome back to Trade Trading with Jeeves, guys, and we're back inside the huge, massive $700 storage unit that we just busted open the safe for last video. But this unit still has a lot more to give, and there is a lot more epic things in here. We're gonna go through some of that today and make the profits go even higher. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and let's start going through some more stuff. So the first thing I want to show is what we showed in the first video and never actually got down. It's actually a pretty sick looking crossbow and it even has a scope on it with lens caps on both sides so this is a recruit compound can you see that and it's made by barnett crossbows if somebody who's more familiar with these can let me know i feel like this is supposed to come back but geez like it's not moving at all i don't know if they have it super knotted up or there's like a release somewhere on here that i'm not seeing Never owned a crossbow in my life, but they look pretty cool. And with a scope on it too, I guarantee that's worth a good amount of money too. But that's just the beginning. We have a lot more to go. So I wanted to point something out that's a little weird that we found in this unit too. It's just paper, but for some reason they have a packet on weapons of mass destruction, which is just a little, you know, out there. But look who it's by, the Bureau of Security and Investigative Services. So kind of weird for them to just have a packet on weapons of mass destruction i don't think average people i mean how many of you guys out there do you have all have your packets of mass weapons of mass destruction i don't that makes it a little bit weird to me so just want to point that out but we also got a nice set of one two three four arrows or i'm going to use my roomscape terminology they're actually called bolts to go in a crossbow i don't know if that's real or not that's just my <laughs> gaming nerd coming out but we got four on there look at the point Man, that would punish somebody. That would punish somebody bad. So, four arrows or bolts, whatever the correct term is, I'm sure I'll hear it in the comments anyway. Let's see what else we can pull out. We also got, what is that? Just a power bank, an EC technology power bank. This one looks bigger, so it might be a more expensive one too. You see it's got three, oh, it's got a thing for iPads, Samsung tablets, and iPhones. That looks like a camera, doesn't it? Yeah. Is it watching me? <laughs> Put it in the safe. I don't like that. What else did we have here? Oh yeah, we set this aside because tell me it's not one of the strangest thing you've ever looked at. What is that? A goat with a thing on his head? That, that who has this? This is weird stuff. Really weird stuff in this unit. Really, really weird stuff. Oh, and it fell. We also got, check that out. It looks nice, right? From the back, but not so much in the front. Another iPad that is absolutely smashed. I don't know what people do with iPads. You're like, I got a new iPod, yes! Just throw it in the air, except they don't catch it and it just hits the ground and smashes. But another destroyed iPad we have there. What we also have here is, check this out. This is actually brand new in the box. It's a 1080p HD camera. It's actually a security camera. As you see that one right there. But as we said, it's brand new in the box. So. That should be a lot of money right there. We also got, you know what this case is? I know what these were as soon as I saw them. They're legitimate police or security handcuffs. You know what the messed up part about these are? There's no key in here, no key at all. So if you put these on somebody, they better know how to get out without a key. But they're Sentinel duty gear, Uncle Mike's law enforcement. <laughs> So they're actual police handcuffs. And again, there's the keyhole for them, but they don't have a key. So if you get these things on you, you're done, guys. You're done. But I don't know how much a real pair of handcuffs go for, the actual law enforcement handcuffs. I would guess it has a decent amount of money. I don't know. Speaking of law enforcement, look what else we also came across. Their actual badge. Security enforcement officer. So they are obviously working somewhere in security, which does explain the huge volume of ammunition we found in the unit a little bit better at first. It was kind of like, if it was hunting ammo, okay, but it's all handgun ammo. So I was like, okay, maybe they're just one of those people I like that. I like to have guns, but that was a lot. That was a lot of ammo. But the fact that they're probably a police officer or some type of security makes a little more sense. So even though that iPad was kind of smashed, we also found a really old looking iPhone. I don't know if it's the iPhone 1 or what it is, but it's definitely really old looking and this one is actually as you can see no cracks or anything it's a little bit dirty but that'll come off with like an alcohol pad or something so some type of old iphone that's in pretty much flawless looking condition but will it cut on i don't know we'll have to test that some other time 
But I also wanted to show you one of the cooler things we found in this unit, which is kind of unexpected. You know, you find a horde of ammo and gun parts, then you find a stack of kids' books. Kind of weird. But the kids' books we found are actually the old Dr. Seuss books. Look at that. The iBook, Inside, Outside. If you remember these books, you got to let us know down in the comments. Some of these we know are worth money. Oh, the places you go. Is that one Dr. Seuss? I don't remember that one. That, but like these ones, these are the size of the real old ones. I don't know if these are reprints or the originals. Let's see if we can find a date in one of them. Over here. I don't see any. 1961. Copyright 1961. So these are probably all authentic Dr. Seuss books. Probably not reprints. Some of these still in the package. Like look. Cat in the Hat comes back. There's two books in these. I used to get these when I was little. I remember these. There's two books in each little pack. Cat in the Hat comes back. And another one. There's the OG. The Cat in the Hat. The other OG. Green Eggs and Ham. Sam I Am. I will not have. Okay, we're not going there. But Hand Hand. Finger Thumb. Well, who remembers One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish? How do you not remember that? One of the most OG ones ever. This is getting heavy. Books are heavier than they look. We also got this one. I remember Wacky Wednesday. Do you remember Wacky Wednesday? I do I remember not. all of these. This is weird. <laughs> we have the Ten Apples on top. Mr. Brown can move. For some reason, when I was little, I had this book memorized. I weirdly <laughs> remember memorizing this book. I don't know why. Pop on Pop. I remember that one. I can read with my eyes shut. Mm. All OGs. And look at these. Still in the plastic. We got the Bernsteins. We have... The one with the chicken and I remember this. Are you my mother? Yep. The chicken and the dog. Bears on wheels. The remember, there's another book on each one each one of these boxes behind it. The Berenstein Bears. Fox and Socks. I do remember that one. Me too. The that one. Couldn't see the front of it. The Bears Picnic. And the other OG book. Horton Here's Horton. a Who. I love that movie. So all of these definitely I think are gonna have some real value to them because from what I can see they're the real things they're not reprints so I think that's gonna have some real value to it one more thing on top of here that I love that I'm gonna keep for myself check out this tack force knife so it comes out it's like a curved blade and you actually put your pinky right here in the hole so you have it like this so you just come at somebody they're done that is so cool definitely keeping this one for myself but those books, I guarantee are worth quite a bit of money. So we got what looks like another shooting bag here. Let's see if we can maybe find the gun we've been looking for all this time. Let's see. First thing, dry fire training cards. What are those? Oh, just showing you what to do. That's kind of cool. Um, what else do we have? Ooh, is that a wallet? It is, kind of. There's some cards in here. The $50 gift card in there. And their Visa. You think that $50 gift card has anything on it? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, flashlight. What kind of flashlight do we have? A combat light. That sounds like it could have value. Think it works? It does. It does work. Cool. Alright, let's get inside. Oh, there's still some side pockets, actually. What do we got over here? What's that? Oh, another gun cleaning kit. Mini gun cleaning kit. I think it's like the fifth or sixth one we found in this unit. Another flashlight? What is that? Oh, it's a cleaning kit? It says bore on it, so I think it helps, like, the... When you're hmm. cleaning it to see it in the barrel. Maybe. And we got. That's probably the cleaning polish, yep. Yeah, board clean. So, that's what's in that pocket. We might have another pocket on the other side, too. Let's see. I can get this stuff back in there. Oh, we do. But it might be empty. No, we got. Looks like just a gun sock. Oh, a face shield, actually. It says it on the bag. Hmm. Let's get into the main bag. This is where the gun's gonna be. Ooh, another one of these. We already found one of these before. Nice. Oh, this one's a little different. Look at that. That holster definitely had a gun in it at one point, but it's not in it now. Let's see. What is this? 
What is that? Huh. You ever seen anything like that? I have not. That's kind of strange looking. Wait, is it a multi-tool? Maybe. Look, it says beer right here. Some spanner wrench. This is a muzzle device. Barrel nut. Hammer. I think I it's just know. some kind of multi-tool. Maybe. We also got the yellow vest. Some eye protection to go with all the ear protection. Oh my gosh, there's more ammo. Look, we have... Ooh, look, for law enforcement use only. There's our, our proof right there. This guy was probably police. 9 millimeter, 9 millimeter, another 100 rounds of 9. 9 millimeter NATO. I've, I've never seen NATO on it. Yeah, me neither. Whoa. I want to see what it looks like. That's cool. Let's look at it. Yeah, I've never seen 9 millimeter NATO before either. Probably because it's for police only. Let's see. Looks like any other round to me. Okay. FMJ. So, 150 rounds here. That all those in there? Nope, there's more ammo, guys. Quite a bit more. Is this 9mm again? 200 cartridges, and there's two more. Both 9, I think. 9, 9. So, another 300 rounds here of 9mm. The amount of ammo we found in this unit is just crazy. The rest of it? Let's see. It looks like just the strap to wear on your back. Tactical gear. Hold your AR rifle on your back. Another holster. And yeah, that looks like just about it for that bag. That's a pretty sweet shooting bag. Another 300 rounds of ammo. So we also got this pair of boots from Forever 21. As you can see, they're still tied shut because they're still brand spanking new in the box, still in the paper. So brand new box, Forever 21 boots. I wish it had like a style or something in it. Oh, there it is. For those of you that know what you're looking at, because I don't, I don't want to take them out the box or anything because they are still new in the box. So we got those. We also got a purse. Oh, well. Ooh, is that jewelry? I see jewelry. Forever 21 again. Somebody love their Forever 21. Some type of necklace. I don't think they sell real jewelry, do they? I'm not sure. No, that costs no. five bucks, so that's not real. But it looks like a bunch. Ooh. You think it's all costume jewelry? Let's see. Yeah, that's probably cost. This, you can tell. This is just plasticky. What about this one? Same thing. So, I think it's just a little purse full of a bunch of costume jewelry. Not nothing too valuable, but people still do buy costume jewelry in a lot. So, it's not completely worthless. Just not as worth as much if it was real money. Or real jewelry, I should say. We also got, which adds to the cop security thing, look at this. Jacket, go check out the badge. Cook and Associates Inc. Private Security. So again, this just adds a little bit more to the tons of gun stuff and tons of ammunition and things like that. So make a little bit more sense here. Let's see what we got in the brown bag. What are these? We got Colt gear. Designed for the tactical outdoorsman. Huh, I wonder what that's for. Turn it around. Um. Hmm. Does it go on a horse? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's made for horses. It's pretty Maybe big. It's some kind of carry case, obviously. Maybe it goes on Maybe a horse. It. Maybe it's a gun case. Maybe. I don't know. We also got. What is this one? I'm not sure. Some type of jacket, but look again. Security badges again, so this guy was 100%. We found, Storage Stalker found some stuff that showed he was a police officer. Maybe he moved off of the police into security, or maybe he got promoted from security into the police department. We don't know. Either which way, it makes a lot more sense finding this kind of stuff. Speaking of gun stuff, look at these. Brand new Rifleman Series gear protection. We have one, two, three, four. Is that it? Four brand new ear protections in here. And this little collar shirt here is again that same private security badge. My guess is maybe he was a security officer that went got promoted up to the police. I don't really know guys. Look what else we found hiding back here. 
a Samsung S8 Plus phone box, and that sounds like there's something in there to me. Let's see if we can get it. We found the iPhone. Can we get the Samsung? Oh, well, we got trolled in the bottom. Literally nothing. Why? Oh, well, we'll add the box to our collection of boxes. I've said it before. New phones, Samsung and iPhone boxes, if you stack them up, you can sell them as a lot on eBay and people buy them. I don't know why. I guess, like I said before, they're scamming people or they're reselling phones. I'm going to hope it's B, but another little box here. So, look what else we just pulled off there. It looks like another shooting bag. If we got even more ammo than at this point, I feel like we're ready for war. Let's see. Ooh, that looks interesting. What are these? What is that? You ever seen that before? No. There's a bunch of them in there, whatever they are. We got those things. Uh, Sound Horde ESX or PSX 14. That's in there too. Huh. Not sure. What's the instruction manual for? Oh, nothing. And that. There's also a pen in there. Look at that knife right here. Look at that. And Smith & Wesson too. That's a nice knife right there, isn't it? Let's see what's in the lower part of the bag. Flashlight. And, ooh. More handcuffs. Does one have a key? Um, made in USA. Uh, let's see if it has a key in there. Oh, there's two. Does that one have a key? Oh, I do feel keys, I think. Hey, let's see if it works so I can handcuff you. No. Um, let's see. Hold on. I prefer. I know those things hurt. Let's see if it fits. Uh, -oh, it's not turning it. Uh, it's not unlocking it. Maybe it does go to the silver one. Maybe. Let's try the silver. Come on, let's lock it up. See if we can unlock it with the key. Yep. So we have one pair of handcuffs here, with the key. Hands behind your back now. Hands behind your back. All right. This afraid is not behind my back, but I'm afraid I have this to is do the best this. I can do, sir. All right, you have to keep that on for the rest of the video now. All right. You can't take it off. Okay. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> let's see what else we got. Another little set of keys. And. More, oh my gosh, that's the safe key. <laughs> that, no, it says gun vault on it. If that is actually the safe key, I'm gonna be really, really mad. <laughs> We're gonna check that out in a few minutes. We'll, we'll just check that out in a few minutes. If it is, I'm gonna scream at the top of my lungs and probably break some stuff. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Hey look, brand new eye protection for shooting. Gloves. Ooh, what do we got here? Binoculars. What kind now? Get out. Out. They're not cooperating with me. Get out, seriously. Okay, I'm about to fight these things in a second. All right. They only have a brand name on them. They're pretty scratched up. Look at that. How did you even do that? Mm. But it's got a logo on it. Anyone recognizes that, let us know. And it looks like this might be his knife bag. Jeez, look at this. See the size of this? That's a knife. That's a knife. That'll mess them up. That's Smith & Wesson, too. Border guard. You see that? That's a sick knife. Hmm. What else have we got in here? Another knife. It's the crappy little white one, though. Not bad. Not bad. Now, how do, where's the little button to close it? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Was that a switchblade? Uh oh, hold on. No. You sure? It only comes out. Ah, oh, no, it's not. I thought it was a switchblade. Can I ask you a question? What? Did you keep the keys for this? No, I lost them. I don't know where they're at. Great. Look at us. We got a buck knife. See the blood on it? You know what that's for? Mm -hmm. Cutting the deer up. Cutting deer. Cutting any animal up. Yeah, yeah. It's got blood on it too. Let's hope. I want to hope it's deer and it's not human. Let's just. It says buck. We're just say it's a bucks. And guys, I, oh, there's some pockets in the front of here. Do we even look in these? No. Empty. 
Oh, we got something here. Another flashlight. Another oh, it looks like a... Uh, yeah. That's in there. And then we have... Oh, something's in here. What is this? What is that? You ever seen that? Is it open? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Somehow. Hey, look, who's that? Okay. All right. And that's all it's in this bag, but that's pretty sweet. One hand on the wall. But I didn't one, do nothing. One, you know what? You know what you did? What did I do? You Stop were, resisting. You were resisting. <laughs> that's what I'm under arrest for is uh -huh. resisting your run. <laughs> yes. I don't think I know how to put cuffs on. Oh, wait. Got him. Kind of. All right, you ready for the cartoon moment? I'm gonna swallow the key, guys. <laughs> oh, this You're not getting out. Sucks. Yeah. Now that the beat not, up not, can't himself, now do you understand? Why? <laughs> <laughs> now you understand why they tell people to loosen them. <laughs> Go on, unlock yourself. Now I gotta find the little hole. It's like Houdini <laughs> stuff. <laughs> now I gotta find the hole. I'm gonna use my. I'm gonna use like one or two fingers, and I'm gonna around and try to feel the inside of a hole around here. All right, I think we're getting a little X-rated. <laughs>